Hello, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the basic tutorial. Now, I already did a tutorial on this, um, but the tutorial was bad. It was too dark. See, I, uh, yeah, it was too dark, and I was doing it from this angle, which was not good. And it was too long. I just talked for too long without doing the tutorial. And I called it the half twirl, and this is the basic twirl. Um, not the half twirl. So I'll show the move again. Hopefully the camera doesn't get blurry in this. Um, but we're going to be doing a tutorial on the basic twirl. So to begin, hold the knife in standard position. Most of the beginner tricks, you decide what handle you want to hold. But for the basic twirl, you need to hold the safe handle upwards. Hopefully this isn't blurry. I, this might be blurry. I think it is. Um, hold the safe handle upwards. And you don't have to do this, but a tip for learning this is to put your index finger here. You don't have to. You can hold it here. But I like to put my index finger here. The first step is going to be throw the knife out. Almost like you're going into a fan rollout. But you will stay here. And as you can see, I have my index finger resting on the top of the safe handle. Now for you, this is mirrored when you're watching this. So for you, when you're holding the knife, it will look like this. Make sure that the blade is pointing away from you. The bite handle is straight down and your index finger is on top of the safe handle which is at a 180 degree angle with the blade. This is the reason that I like to put my index finger here because you need to um, fluidly get your index finger on top of the safe handle. And when you put your index finger here, it automatically goes there when you throw it down. If you don't, then you ought to put it there, which I can do without any trouble. But for someone learning this move, it may help you to put your index finger here so it will automatically be there. This next step is very easy. It's also the reason why you can't do this with a bite handle. You need to go from here to here. Simply throwing the blade up and having the spine rest on your index finger, which is here. Show it from this angle. My hope on. So, this is easy. Um, you can learn that quickly. The hardest part of the move is going to be the third part, the third and final part. What you will do is, there's actually two ways to do this. The beginner way is what I'll teach you first. What you want to do, your thumb will be here. This is going to be the configuration of your fingers. You want your thumb and index finger to be on this side of the safe handle, touching the spine of the blade and these three fingers on the back of the safe handle. What you're doing here though is you're going into an ice pick grip by taking your thumb off of the inside of the safe handle and putting it here. And to do this you will need to lift some fingers. Whatever works for you. You might have bigger fingers, littler ones. Um, for me I lift these two fingers. Um, it isn't actually complicated, it's just put your, putting your thumb here. It's not like a complex series of finger movements. It's simply taking your thumb here, putting it here. Now what you're going to need to do is push with your thumb down. And you can clear the path with these fingers if you want. You'll push your thumb down. So the handles fall like this. Then this is important. We 
stop the camera from turning off here. You're going to be going up and catching into an ice pick grip. But an important part is to move your thumb. Your thumb will be here, but you need to move it off to the side so this is clear so the knife will connect. So when your thumb's here, and by the way, you're not doing this. You might do that when you're learning to move, beginning it. Once you have this moved down, you put your thumb here and just kick it up. Now, for a while, I had the problem of doing this, but you'll learn. You can do it a little bit slower and take your thumb out. So that's pretty much the basic twirl. Although, once you really learn this move, you'll be able to do it without relying on your thumb. You'll be able to do it like this and just throw it up by just throwing it down. But I'm not really going to teach that. Once you get a hang for this move, you'll actually learn that by yourself. You'll actually start naturally doing that once this move is part of your uh, your routine. So that was the tutorial for the basic twirl. I'm currently getting footage for my Benchmade 51 video. Um, and that will be coming out soon. I hope this was um, good teaching. I like to have a more in-depth tutorial instead of just saying here, here, here. Um, especially for the beginner tricks, I like to go slow and because for me, my problem was I always saw people that were just going too fast and I couldn't learn. So as a beginner, if I found, I, I learned this move from a guy named Bite Handle, Vincent Dark, Dark Hod Productions, my favorite battle song YouTuber ever. He's a great teacher, and that's where I learned this move. So now I'll be passing on his knowledge and his teaching to you in the form of the basic twirl and other moves. Now one thing is, on one more variation of this move, is when you do the basic twirl and you're here, this is harder catching it in full ice pick. I'll do that fast so you can see. This is more effective than only having it with two fingers. And by doing this, it's harder because you are, you're letting go of the knife pretty much and just letting it fall into your hand and then holding on. One thing you can do to practice this is do the basic twirl and then immediately let go and catch it like this. You'll eventually get it fast enough that you can just catch it like this. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm Red Rose and I will see you next time.